for fans or uh, some people are uh, asking me to make comments on specific events and specific uh, issues. I want to tell you that every time kind of an issue like that comes to me, I give it to Dan Evans uh, to, to, to basically make sure that if it's worth looking at as part of his uh, work, we hear you kind of if you if you point it out there on social media, we hear you. I just want to tell you, I do not have the ability of answering each one of these uh, uh, questions just because, frankly, I don't know enough. It's not that I don't consider it important. I just don't know enough and cannot inform myself on each one of those uh, issues. And neither can Dan, by the way. I just really, uh, I just really want to thank you for your excitement and your interest, and, and you know, be a little bit patient with us as we get to a solution that's much more scalable than any one of us answering a specific question. Why don't you do three questions kind of from the top and then uh, we'll call it today. So we have one that is directed toward uh, Thomas. It says, could you please tell us new information you've got at NASA about what seems to be a cylindrical object? And that's that's that, that's one. what I'm talking about. That's the one so, you're talking so, yes. about. So yeah. the next one is also an, a UAP, which is elaborating how many sciences have joined the UAP study team to date and what, what can we so give a give a framework kind of uh, what what's your what's your guess? Uh, how big is the committee? How many scientists in the committee to zero order? I uh, be aware that I'm a scientist too, but I'm also a bureaucrat. So so some of these people have double labels. So go ahead then. Fifteen to seventeen scientists, data practitioners, airspace safety experts. Um, we're going to get the wheels moving. Hopefully this afternoon after we meet with the administrator um, to get his approval to proceed with a formal appointment. Um, there are going to be a series of internal steps that we need to do. I'm hoping that we'll have this done by October, but I will cross my fingers and say that we could be able to get it done sooner than that. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, and then the U.S. Uh, are there any pictures, videos currently in the NASA database regarding UAP? I mean, look, with, with all of this, it's too early to say. Remember that the first step of any scientific investigation is to identify the data and that's why we're bringing in these experts is to do just that. Um, I'll also say that this is an exercise in SMD doing what we do best. And that's applying the tools of science to push back boundaries. And, you know, for all of us in SMD, and I'm pretty sure I can speak on behalf of Thomas here, you know, there's a direct connection between us studying UAP and many of the other bold, high risk, high impact ventures that we're currently undertaking within the directorate. Okay, this is really important to us and we're placing a high priority on it. Thank you, Dan. Um, and I want to just skip down because all of these are UAP, but there is one on uh, providing a cadence of images uh, to the public from JWST. Where What is that cadence going to be? So there'll be a, a couple more EROs coming out in the next couple of weeks. We also expect 